guys, welcome back. It's Marie here again, and I'm going to try something a little bit out of my norm. Something a little bit different than I'm used to. Usually, all my I've been doing videos about postal mail, which is my first passion in life. Um, but my second love, I think, is shopping for sure. Definitely, namely, thrift shopping. Um, I definitely love the weird, the unique, the vintage kind of stuff, so I definitely want to show you some things I've been finding lately at my thrift store. Um, usually I watch thrift hauls online and on YouTube here and, you know, people find such great stuff and I just feel left out, like I, but I never, I, I guess I shouldn't say never, but I rarely find things I just love, but Lately, I've been doing a few savers trips a week, and I've been finding some great things. Um, Thursdays is student discount days, so that's the day I spend my most money, I think. I definitely love that they do that. I like savers because it seems to be a little bit more clean than some of the other... I won't name names, but some of the other local thrift stores in my area that I've been to kind of, I don't know, make me feel a little dirty. And I have nothing against thrifting, obviously, but I, I would rather shop in a more clean environment, if you kind of get what I mean. I don't know if other people have similar experiences in the area. Of course, you're going to have different thrift stores in your area than I do. I feel like you know, there's really not a whole lot in the city I live in. We ended up, we always cross the bridge per se to go to Savers over in Duluth anyway. But I just want to show you some things that I fell in love with and found and got excited about. And so I'll get this haul started. I'm kind of back on a fashion kick. I found these great embroidered and rhinestone pants. Um, and actually, actually, they're capri pants, but I, you know, but short girl problems, they fit me like pants, and they're hemmed already, so, yeah, so that's my life right there, but I just, I love, you know, all these rhinestones on it, and this bird, bird is gorgeous. Some gorgeous embroidery. Um, yeah, they should be fun this summer to hang out with. And the only thing that scares me, I guess, is that they're white. And I don't know if anyone else is a huge klutz, but I have a bad feeling there's going to be a coffee stain on it in no time. But I'm going to try. I'll try for, for you guys. Another clothing item I found that I kind of fell in love with, I actually found it in the guy section looking for stuff for Big E, um, my husband Big E, but I found this good and plenty print button up shirt out of good and plenty. Good and plenty is my favorite candy. And it actually, I always tell people, like, go gross is my mama when I eat good and plenty's because like she hates black licorice and the smell. But I love them, and I just thought, I was just so excited about this. Like, I probably, it's a little big for me personally, um, but since it's a button-up, it has a good amount of fabric. I'll either, like, take it in or redo it, or this will probably be an upcycle, but the Good and Plenty fabric is kind of what I bought it for. Got pretty excited about that. Um, I saw this skirt on one of my trips, and I actually didn't buy it, but then the next trip I went to, it was still there, and so I thought, well, that's meant to be. It's a flying tomato um, skirt. It's actually kind of a shorter, so it'll be different to wear a shorter skirt than I normally wear, but I just, I love the pattern. It's Got these crazy flowers and it's bright blue and a bright orange. Um, I don't know how easy or hard it is to see how bright it is, but it's almost the orange is almost neon. So 
it'll be nice in my wardrobe. I also really like pastel and light kind of girly colors. Um, so I bought this skirt. It's got different panels. It's a little bit longer, so probably I'll, I'll be a little bit more comfortable in it. So yeah, definitely I like the, you know, kind of the rose. I don't know what you call those roses. The daisy flower. I feel like these are more roses, the smaller, the smaller of the print is more of a rose and these are more daisies, maybe cherry blossoms, I don't know. I don't know flower terms very well, I kill flowers, I don't really, <laughs> I try not to kill flowers, but I do. It's, it's a bad gene, I guess, I'm a black, black, black thumb. Then I found these shoes, I don't know how people feel about buying shoes, like used shoes, um, but they're like a holographic, metallic, sparkly shoe. It kind of looks like they're a animal print, maybe a jaguar or a cheetah. But I really liked that they were kind of the holographic. I think I, I'm all about the crazy shoes. I will probably spray them or something before I wear them. But I just fell in love with them and I had to have them. and. Biggie said they were very me, so I guess that's that's what counts. About one of these. This should be easier than trying to put books up and all the other kind of. If you could see this contraption here, you would be glad I yeah I found this. But yeah, it's one of these tripods that you can kind of wrap around and. I, think, I mean, it's a picture they got their camera on a tree. I'll just glare off my window. But yeah, so there's that. And then I really, the last thing I need is more like clutches and containers, but I, for 99 cents, thought this one was really cute, even if I like end up sending it away. It was in good condition. I mean, the thing is still in here. Whatever you call that. What do you call that? Moisture packet thing. Do not eat. Carbon. Activated carbon. But it has all these little, I like the candy motif. Um, I've always been kind of into lollipops and candy, and so I picked that up. I thought, what could it hurt for a dollar? Less than a dollar. And the next thing I'm kind of getting into a little bit more is the Pyrex. I don't know if you got any Pyrex lovers out there. Um, I'm, I've got a watermelon motif all over my kitchen, so I've been trying to find like the, the pinks and the green Pyrex, and this one I thought was in pretty good shape. It's a smaller bowl, um, but I will de I'll definitely use it because you have to use your Pyrex when you buy it. The Pyrex thing started with a piece that my grandma gave to my mom, actually, and my mom gave it to me, and it was a green, so I've been trying to pick up the pink and the greens. And then, and then my last but not least, my favorite favorite thing I found, um, I actually found this tea set that I fell in love with at, uh, fell in love with this tea set. I, it's kind of, this is the green one. It has kind of a, almost like a watercolor kind of glaze to it. Um, and the name brand on the bottom I googled, but I'm pretty sure it's like a knockoff because Every time it says, I don't know if you can read it, it says Dalton in two different words. And every time I Googled it, it like, it wanted to autocorrect me for a company that's one word. I couldn't find any information about this particular tea set. Here's the green saucer that went with it. You kind of see the motif a little bit better, the kind of watercolor wash. And it's got these kind of cute holes in it. I thought it was different. And the gold rim. And this is the green one, but they're actually a set of four, and they're all different. And here's the pink. It's like a pinkish reddish. I'd say it's more pink, so. And then the yellow. I'll show you the yellow. I have this. I have this dream one day that I'm going to have this spectacular tea party. Someday when I have friends, they'll come over and drink tea with me. I'm going to have a spectacular tea party. 
and it's going to be like, it's going to be like Downton Abbey. You just, you just watch. And here's like this blue one. I'm not 100% sure. I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be blue. It's kind of a bluish purple. I don't know. Should we test them out? I wash this first, I promise. Should be fancy. Fancy with my teacups. I'm definitely down to Navi right here. Does it count though? I mean, there's blue power rate in it. Does it count to have to be fancy? It holds a lot more than I thought it would. Oh, I was supposed to use a saucer. I was supposed to use a saucer. I put it back. Hold it like that. So that's it for my thrift doll. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what was your favorite items down below in the comments. Also, don't forget to subscribe. You can also follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. The links for that are also below. Don't forget to check those out and like and follow me so you can see all my other fun finds as I find them and stay on top of my new videos. I promise this time that I won't, it'll be shorter than two months before the next one, I promise you guys. Don't forget to send some mail and tell someone you love them. Bye.